shared and side effects have a common goal, which is to make Houdini a great software for character animation. This software brings uh, uh, a new joy to the studio. People are learning, discovering, having fun. The idea of working with side effects uh, first came by PH, is our animation director, his partner in the business with me and Sly, to approach side effects and to see their interest in, in working on our short film. We got side effects on board with us for this project uh, faster than I expected, to be honest with you. Outside is uh, this uh, short film that we've been developing for a very long time. The main character is a little cat, a black cat with a bell around his neck. I mean, that's how it all started, it's just this simple observation of these cats who have bells and you're like, okay, so you've got this cool little predator and you just put the most annoying thing around his neck and, I mean, how do they live with that? I mean, there's no way they can catch anything, they're ringing all around, you know, so, uh, this basic uh, observation is where it all started, and then you know, we decided let's 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 figure out what we want to do with this cat. Houdini, we started on a short while ago. Um, slowly, we've been ramping up since about a year ago. Shed started using Houdini in the hope to have a main software for the whole pipeline. What I would say is, in that short time, we've managed to uh, bring the pipeline up. You know pretty much to the level that we'd gotten in many more years for Soft Smash, so it's very promising right now. And one of the key moments for us, or for me, was when I looked at the, the animator screen next to me and I saw the character move for the first time. That was the moment that I really believed that, oh, it's gonna work, we can do animation in Houdini. So one of the greatest achievements that we have had with Houdini is the ability to build our own constraints networks we were able to build a, a graph that can export constraints in global space as well as in local space. Yeah, what I love about Houdini is interconnection between all the, depart the different modules, maybe be it uh, particles, render, shading, compositing, everything talks to everything. We really feel that we're part of making that module, that character animation module. This is a great part of the relationship that we have with side effects is that the developers are really open to our ideas and they, this is part of what they want to know about the customer. Uh, what is the experience of using Houdini and they are really listening to us about what should be improved. It's the number, the number one support, uh, I would say. It's a great relationship and the response is really good. Um, and it's making our project uh, come a long way. Houdini is helping us tell the story like we planned, uh, rather than adjust the story uh, to try and, and again fit in the technical limits of a, of a, of a software. That Houdini is a, you know, a very complete package. We totally acknowledge that Houdini has a great potential to become one of the major softwares for character animation. slowly catching up to the moment. I mean, we just had the presentation and it was, yeah, it went really well. Uh, we loved the reaction we got to it. Um, the people were, 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 you know, sort of following the story, getting excited, laughing where we, you know, we were hoping they would laugh. So yeah, we're really pleased. Well, what, what's really fun about the teaser for us is that it, um, it's a sort of a little self-contained story. It's not a trailer with a little, that's a little story. And thankfully, it doesn't give it anything away, we feel, from the actual short film. It just kind of sets the mood, sets the dynamic between the characters. You get to meet everyone, but we've got a lot of surprises left, you know? So that's exciting.